Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how I built a FAQ accordion element for my website. This time using the component by FinSuite that's using custom JavaScript in order to add a bit more functionality to the accordion layout. If you haven't seen the previous video, you can check it out by using the link below. Okay, so we are back in our FAQ section with our working accordion element that um, has interactions applied directly here in Webflow. Now we are going to recreate this accordion component by using, first of all, another template, which includes custom code, again, for accessibility reasons, but also for interactions and some features that FinSuite Attributes is providing us that, for example, let us only have one accordion element being open at the time. Okay, so I'll go into our div that contains the component, then I'll navigate to layouts and add the accordion to JS, which works with JavaScript. I hide the code element because I don't need to see it. I also remove this node that warns us that the interaction will only work on the published site. The reason is that JavaScript doesn't work here in the Webflow preview, but only once the site got hosted. Uh, we notice, so we remove this. Now I want to have the same styling applied as we currently use. So um, I'll just take those classes for, for it. Then we want it again to be CMS driven. So I add a collection list element, apply the classes that we already have. And if you haven't watched the previous videos, I'm simply giving meaningful class names to all our elements and also applied some stylings to it so that the FAQ accordion element um, is aligned with my um, design that I created here in Figma. Okay. At the header. Oh, first, we need to link this to our FAQ. Then we add the header and the content. Oops. All right. We don't need our static versions anymore. Uh, we collect the text to the information from our database. And here we have our component. Actually, I also get will get rid of the previous layout component. I'll publish again. While this is publishing, let's take a look at the uh, accordion component that we are using for our FAQ and the additional functionality that we are looking to implement. So FinSuite Attributes is offering a good documentation here. And the uh, style I'm really looking forward to is actually this one. Uh, the option to have only one accordion open at one time in a group. I think that's really convenient. Um, you'll see in a bit what this effect looks like. I had some discussion on this actually on, on Twitter recently, uh, if this is the way to go for standard FAQ elements, because it might be less accessible. And the reason is because if you open one element, it automatically enforces others to close without necessarily the user expecting it. But I'm not 100% sure if it's the case. I just think that in terms of user experience, it's definitely an upgrade to a FAQ element. So let's see how to implement and test this. Accordion element. Okay, no, it doesn't work. What did I do wrong? Probably forget to add this additional script that we need. So I'll add the script to my site, publish. And as you can see now, it's still not working. I assume it's because I renamed the classes. But why? The classes are only used for styling. So this can't be the reason. We don't want Webflow interactions anymore. 
maybe it was interfering, right? I took the classes from our previous component to take the stylings and also copied the interactions, but we don't want the webflow interactions. We want uh, custom ones using JavaScript. Okay, now you see something happened. All of them are now open, but it's still not working correctly. Why is this open? We have our embed code. We added the script here. Let's check the documentation. There are some attributes that are recommended here for the functionality. So let's try implementing those. Although I'm wondering why they are not already part of the component. Let's see. Yeah, and as I expected, those classes are already, no, not all of them. Okay, so it looks like one attribute was missing. Let's load the site again. Now our accordion is working. Why doesn't it come with at least some basic animation? Are there still like some additional Webflow interactions running? Well, <laughs> I want to figure this out. So um, yeah, let's let's use this element and continue from there and see, perhaps find out where I made the mistake. So we don't need this text element. We don't want to see this embed. I apply new stylings to the uh, elements that are part of this accordion. And now I also set up the collection list. I detach this elements, get rid of this content, which is from our previous build. <laughs> Sorry, this gets a bit confusing now. But yeah, it's part of the part of the debugging. So I take the header again, take the content and connect the fields. Now I get rid of our previous element where I'm not still not sure why the interactions didn't work as well as expected. This was our static element that can be deleted. Sorry if I'm going a bit fast, but I want to see this live. Okay, fine. It looks much better the way they build up and close. Now we have our IPQ element working again with all the styles that we previously built, but now using JavaScript interactions provided by the attributes component instead of Webflow interactions. This means we are probably a bit limited in changing the interactions. Maybe there are ways to add animations using CSS interactions, but yeah, I don't see anything in the documentation. Maybe that's for another video then. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I really want to get this group feature working by setting this option that always only one FAQ element is open. Therefore, we need to define a group that contains all our items, which will be then, I think it's fine to apply to the accordion list uh, at attribute group, enter, doesn't work. Set <laughs> and then single, which will be applied to the same element. And let's see if it works. No. Okay, I remove this attributes again and then I'll try adding it to another diff to this one. So, first let's get uh, attributes to get the group working. Oh, we already have this. Here, ah, that was why the mistake probably happened. We applied this attribute twice to an element here to the uh, collection list, but it was also here on the component initially. So here we have group and the initial is set to none. That's fine. And then we need still this one, uh, uh, single. Oh, and I see I made another mistake. Instead of writing true here, I didn't copy paste the value earlier and I wrote single here, I remember. <laughs> uh, yeah, always copy paste. <laughs> I double check what you're typing. So let's take a look at this again. Nice, so all of them are initially closed. I can open one and if I open another one, the previous one closes. Wow, that looks smooth. It even looks better if you have um, if your answers are always two lines, right? If they have the same height, um, you don't have those um, shifts in the in the height of the content below. If you look at my face, for example, on the image below, it jumps a little, but I think it's, it's not a big deal, especially if the section is not visible. Yeah, I think this is really cool. And I actually consider replacing the Webflow interaction solution with this one. Um, 
because it looks so nice. And <laughs> I don't think it's possible yet to, to create this interaction with um, Webflow interactions only. Yeah, let me know how you like this video in the comments below. If you see anything that you would be doing differently or even better, or if you know uh, another alternative solution to get um, these effects working, um, let me know. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.